Okay, so now the next question, question number 12. We have basically a vessel has 4 liters and 50 milliliters of curd. So you have a vessel that has 4 liters and 500, excuse me, 500 milliliters of, of some, for example, something like curd, for example, which is essentially the same, which is the same as yogurt. Yogurt in, in, in India, it, it's called curd. In how many glasses? So essentially you want to know in how many glasses of 25 ml each capacity can it be filled so that so essentially you have 4 liters and 500 milliliters of curd and you want to know essentially in how many glasses of 25 ml capacity and the capacity of the of the glasses is 25 ml and of course you know that liters milliliters and all of these are units of volume right so you want to know essentially how many of these glasses you need in order to fill all of the curd that you have into these glasses so this is of course a a, a problem of division because or essentially repeated uh, subtraction meaning that for example, you have 4 liters and 500 milliliters of, of curd. So you have 4 liters and, and 500 milliliters. If you subtract from it, for example, 25 milliliters, that would be essentially 4 liters and 500 minus 25 is the same thing as 475, for example, milliliters. And then this is the remaining amount of curd. You can then write essentially 4 liters and 475 milliliters minus another 25 milliliters. Essentially, the 25 remains the same because it's because essentially the volume of these glasses, they, they, that remains the same. So then this becomes essentially 4 liters and of course you can see that I'm, I'm subtracting the 25 milliliters from the 500 milliliters again 25 milliliters from the 475 milliliters because they, they have to have the same units otherwise if if you have something in liters and something in milliliters for example 2 liters for example and 25 milliliters you cannot write 2 liters minus 25 milliliters. The units are not the same, so the, the operation is just simply not possible, right? So, um, so then this becomes essentially 4 liters and 475 minus 25 is 400, for example, 50 milliliters. And then, again, you can write, for example, 4 liters, 450 milliliters minus another 25 milliliters and then keep doing the same operation, right? So this is repeated, and, and then you have to, 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 to get to do the same thing until there is no remaining curd, essentially, remaining in the vessel. That means that all of the curd has to be filled into these, these glasses. And you can see that it is it, 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 the, the operation, essentially, it involves repeated subtraction. And so repeated subtraction means, as we saw before, it means division, right? So instead of doing this tedious repeated um, operation of division, of, of subtraction, I can simply write the amount of curd that I, the, the total amount of curd that I have, which is 4 liters, 500 milliliters, and divide that by the, by the volume of the, by the volume of the glasses, which is 25 milliliters. And do the operation this way. So if I, if I do so, but then the problem is that essentially the, the, the divisor, the, the dividend, this is called the dividend, 
So essentially when you do a multiplication, for example, 8 divided by 2 is the same thing as 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8 and then the remainder 0. So this number is called the dividend. This number is called the divisor. This number is called the quotient and this number is called the remainder, right? So as you can see, essentially in this case, the, the, the dividend is in is in the mixed units of liters and milliliters. The divisor is in milliliters. So I cannot do the, the operation this way. I have to convert. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to write essentially four liters and for example, and what was that? That, is, that was 500 milliliters, 500 milliliters. That is the same thing as four. If I, if I essentially, if I write the, the, the liters in milliliters, essentially four liters would be the same thing as four into 1000 milliliters because, because of the fact that essentially I can write this as four liters. And since I want to end up in with milliliters, I need a milli. So I multiply a milli here. And since milli is the same thing as 10 raised to the power negative 3, which is nothing but 1 over a 10 raised to the power 3, and 10 raised to the power 3 is 1,000, that's 1 over 1,000. So that's milli over 1 over 1,000, right? And so... Um, so essentially you're dividing by one over a thousand, which, which means essentially one over one over a thousand, which is nothing but a thousand, right? Now, um, now if I want to, to I, I mean, I, I, I always try to, 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 to give you all the reasons that you need in order to understand all the statements that you write. But then if you, if, if I make it, I mean, I mean, if I want to give you everything, then, then it's not, it's not, it's not possible to go anywhere with, with, with the videos. So I have to leave some things and then essentially talk about some other things. And then meaning that, for example, why is it that one, one over, one over, one over a thousand is equal to a thousand? It's just, that needs a, one complete video in and of itself. So for now, you can just trust me that this is true. And then later on, if there is some appropriate place where we can talk about this, we will talk about it. Okay. So uh, then the million liters you can, can, you can essentially put together that becomes milliliters and then one over one over a thousand is just a thousand so that's essentially four times a thousand which is four thousand milliliters so then four liters i can write it as four four thousand milliliters and means plus meaning addition 500 milliliters right and then you can Write this as 4,000 plus 500 is 4,500 milliliters. So now the quest, the, the problem becomes essentially the amount of curd that we had, that we started with, which is when you convert it becomes 4,500 milliliters and then divided by 200 by 20, 25 milliliters. So 4,500 and then in both the cases, the units are milliliters, so you can forget about them, meaning in the numerator and denominator, they will just simply cancel out. 4,500 divided by 25 is the same thing as, so 25 goes one time into 45, and then the remainder is a 20, and I bring down this zero, then essentially 10 times 25 is, is basically is 250. Nine times would be 200, 225. Eight times would be 200. So eight into 25 is the same thing as 40, 16, and 20. That's a 200. 
and then since I have a zero over here I can put the zero right up here so that your operation essentially your the, the answer is just simply 180 so 4500 divided by 25 is 180 so So that means that essentially 4,500 milliliters divided by 25 milliliters is equal to 180. That is the number of essentially glasses that you need in order to fill all the curve that you have, right? And the answer is correct. And of course, since you saw that essentially the, you saw that when, when, when we, when we did this operation, we said that essentially 4,500 by 25, and we got essentially a um, 180, and essentially we did some operation over here, and the remainder was zero, which means that essentially if you pick if you have essentially exactly 180 glasses then there is then then you can essentially evenly okay you can evenly pour your curd into all of the glasses right evenly pour the all the amount of curd that you have which is four liters and 500 milliliters you can essentially divide that evenly among so many glasses among 180 and then there is there is going to be no left over from your curt right that's the meaning of the, the that's the meaning of the zero remainder in this context basically okay so this was basically uh, all the questions all the essentially exercise all the parts of exercise 1.2 in the next video we will talk about there is some remaining material we will talk about them thank you